Hi peeps, I hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, my name's Natasha and um, I'm going to do a video today about some of my favorite things that I have right now. And not only just for me, um, I thought about maybe just doing like makeup or beauty products as far as my favorite things, but uh, being my approach has always been about um, how things that make things that make my life easier or better for myself, my family, my kids. I figured I'd include um, my favorite things right now kind of just in general. So some beauty products, some stuff for the kids. Um, so just in general. And I got a couple of tips um, in some of my comments and on Facebook through uh, Messenger, that kind of stuff. Uh, one was to mention my name at the beginning of my videos. So my name is Natasha. Hi guys. And two is to make sure I had better lighting as to see my face better. Um, so I tried to make sure I have a bit better lighting today uh, on my face and uh, I am working on a little space up in my office slash jewelry studio um, where I can uh, work on my jewelry and make videos um, kind of in the same space. So I'm working on the logistics of that um, and how I can make that work right now. Um, so hopefully this little cozy corner on my couch will work for this video. Um, so, a few of my favorite things right now are, um, one, um, I've talked about on my blog before when I've done a favorite things blog post, and, um, it is the Sick Chic, Chic Intuition, uh, razor with the cream bars, um, and I love these. I got the, um, I got this originally in a little, like, pregnancy, post-pregnancy bag from the hospital when I had Quinn. And I probably would honestly <laughs> consider extra saucer. Um, I probably would have never bought them on my own had I not got them in the, the little gift bag from the hospital. Um, because I used to always just be like firm believer of just razor and shaving cream. But these are like super easy. They make shaving for me really quick. I find they work just as well, if not better, than some of the other razors I've used. Um, and they're, uh, they're just quick and easy, like you don't have to worry about buying shaving gel or shaving cream. Um, I don't think, I mean, knock on wood, that I've cut myself or nicked myself at all using these. Um, and I find they last really well. Um, so they're definitely something that I've had on my favorites list, um, for a while. I, I've been using them since I had Quinn in February. Uh, so, and I haven't thought of any other razor since. Like, I used all the stuff I got from the hospital and I'm buying these little packets um, from the Walmart website when I do my big orders for the kids um, as well. Because they're pretty, like, reasonable. You get um, four, you get three razors, but you always get a bonus one. So you get four razors in these little packs. Um, one of my other favorite things is something I just talked about in one of my last, um, my last July video. And I just got it from uh, Jula. It's called Illum Face and Eye Brightener, and they have two colors available. I got the one, I believe it's called Champagne. I don't know why it's not on here, or if I'm just not seeing it. I'm sure you sure it's a Champagne, and basically it's a tube that you crank, and then the kind of a concealer luminizer comes out, and then you put it under your eyes or anywhere that you feel like you need it. So right now I'm not wearing um, anything except for I wash my face in the shower and I have um, the Hey Honey Daily Serum on. So I'm just going to give it a little crank and then I just kind of, there we go. Anybody else like, feel like they have to like open their mouths whenever they uh, apply makeup? I don't know why I do that. So you just kind of put it on, and then you kind of just blend it in. I do the corners of my eyes too, just to kind of like highlight and so I find for me anyways, I mean I'm not a huge concealer or makeup wearer, but I find for me like it blends really well. Um, it blends really well and then I find that it does really brighten up that area of my eye. I don't really wear concealer or foundation or anything so normally I would like put this on and then I'd put, uh, I've just started getting into wearing bronzers 
um because I got that tart bronzer from my ipsy bag for July so I started wearing that so like I'll put like that to contour a little bit and maybe a little bit of blush just something really quick like nothing that's like no mess no fuss just kind of like burn, 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 done. but like I find like it blended really well into my skin tone and you can't really tell it's there um other than the fact that you just saw me haphazardly kind of put it on so I'm loving that right now, um, and it's something that I definitely will repurchase from Julep in the future, for sure. Um, something else that I love, and I got this a couple months ago in um, my uh, Ipsy bag, and that is um, the Trace Seek, um Mini Shadow Crayon, and it's in Venetian Gold. And I've talked about this in a couple of my other videos because I'm really just loving this. They say it's like all day wear. I know a lot of companies say all day wear and like, you know, won't smudge off, won't, you know, crease, won't do whatever. And I've never really been a fan of like liquid or cream eyeshadows because I feel like they always crease. I feel like they're always smudging. Like I, for me, I always get lines and I'm not a really sweaty person. Sorry, I've got like a lot of hand motion going on in front of my face. Um, I'm not a really sweaty person or anything. I don't know if that's too TMI, but, like, so, to me, I don't feel like my eyelids should be, like, creasing and stuff that much, but I really, really love this. This has been my go-to daily, um, well, not daily, because I don't wear makeup daily, but, like, when I do wear makeup, this is kind of, like, I reach for this all the time. I do have quite a few other colors that I think I'm going to try, um... This is their mini, so they do have the bigger stuff, and their bigger ones, if you go to their website, their bigger ones come with, like, a blender brush at the, at the base, and they've got, like, magnetic caps. They're actually, um, the makeup of, like, their products and stuff, like, the how they create it and how they think about everything, I find it to be really smart, their packaging and stuff. Um, and they also have, like, concealers, um, blushes, like, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I definitely think maybe my birthday's in the fall. So maybe I might splurge on one of their kits or something in the fall. A little something. Because I really do love this. Um, and they've got a pink pearl. I think pink pearl one. They've got an ivory one. A really dark blue. Uh, one's dark brown. Quinn's in her extra saucer right now. So that's why you hear some jiggling in the background. Um, so, I mean, you can tell it's been used. <laughs> uh, so it's just like a little crayon. And I find it goes on super, super easy. Um, and I was talking about all day wear, so I'm all over the place, but, uh, I just did, um, a family trip to Quebec City, and our first day we left, we left on the Wednesday, I got up at 4.20 to make sure that I had time to get ready, um, and get, make sure all the last minute things are packed before I had to feed Quinn, um, and get Knox ready and do all that kind of stuff. So I applied this at, I think, like, 4.30 or 4.40 in the morning, and it lasted all day. I, when I took my makeup off at like 9 or 10 p.m. at the hotel, finally at the end of the, our first day, it was still on. And it goes on like so easy. So I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with, I'm just gonna, And I did get um, from one of the Facebook trade boards uh, I'm a part of, I did get the Kona Coffee, so it's like a dark chocolatey brown. It doesn't have the same shimmer as this, it's kind of like a matte. So I do use it for like almost like, sh um, almost like uh, eyeliner is what I've used it for. And I do like it as well, but this gold is definitely my favorite. So like, as you can, it goes on really easily. Um, and it's super smooth, and it's like, like, even the way it highlights the rest of the color in my face, like, it looks like I almost got, like, other colors up there. I don't know. So, I really, really like it. So, lately I've just been, like, this, the, um, under eye stuff from Julep, um, a mascara and, like, a blush or, like, bronzer. Like, just really quick four or five items, and I'm done for, like, the day. And it will last all day. Like, I don't have to reapply it. So I'm really impressed, and these are like products that I'm reaching for all the time, and I'm loving. Another product that I've got from my Ipsy bag, 
um, is this Jarrell Parker Femina uh, perfume. And you can tell I've used quite a bit of it. This I got in my April Ipsy bag. So my first bag I got with Ipsy. And it's funny because I was like really disappointed that I was getting perfume because I've never worn perfume before. I've never been into it. And I love this stuff. I actually just um, got another, another bottle of this I just got in um, because I love it. Uh, it's also known as Harvey Prince Hello. I guess, I think the company's merged or one took the other over. And in that scent, Harvey Prince actually has like a shampoo, conditioner, I think body wash and stuff. I don't know how I feel about the scent um, in like everything, but they have a sample kit that you can get for, I want to say like $4 or something like that. So I might get it just to see because I love, I love this scent. Like, <laughs> Quinn's going to play with her noisiest toys right now and it's on purpose. Um, I love this scent and um, like I'm, I'm really addicted to it and my husband loves it so it makes it all the better right um, so those are kind of things for me that I'm loving right now and just make my day like I love the smell of the perfume it just like makes me happy when I put it on I love the makeup like it just really really quick and easy and I feel like I can go from like my everyday kind of like no makeup fresh face to just like a little extra like shimmer a little like gold happiness I don't know so those are things that I'm really liking for me um, I've talked about in some of my other posts like when I talked about the um, honest company and stuff like I've been looking for um, <laughs> sorry Gwen's making me laugh but I've been looking for products that are healthy and safe uh, and natural and stuff um, for my family and cheese around the house so I was really excited um, I was like well I was bummed when I um, stopped purchasing the Honest Stuff, Honest Company products because of um, the cost and their international fees and their shipping and all that kind of stuff. One thing I have to mention is I just found out that there's a Canadian company, if you're Canadian, um, it's well.ca and they're going to be carrying um, the Honest Company products this month. So you can't get their bundles or their packages, but you can carry, you can get some of the products if you like them. So I'm probably going to check that out because it's free shipping and it's in Canadian dollars and you don't have to pay international fees or anything. So I think I might check that out for some of the products that I really, really enjoyed from the Honest Company. Um, but I was really happy. I found this company. It's called Attitude and part of their brand is uh, the Little Ones brand. And this in particular is a toy and surface cleaner. It's fragrance free. It's um, carcinogen and dioxide and ethanol oxide free. Um, it's not tested on animals. It's like really safe and gentle. So I use this like on the play mats on the floor to clean it before Quinn decides she's gonna like slug her way around because she's trying to crawl. So she like licks everything and everything goes in her mouth. So I kind of included this in my daily cleaning um, in the play area and like her extra saucer and stuff which she's like making into a little jewel lake right now. Um, and I really like it. It has no scent. It doesn't have that strong chemically odor. Um, and like it doesn't leave a residue. It just It's just very clean and I feel good about the ingredients that are in it. I feel good about... Um, I just feel good about... Quinn playing like around like, not around the bottle but Quinn playing around stuff that I've cleaned with it if that makes sense um that and I've tried their children's scent free stain remover um and I wouldn't say it gets every stain out but I mean some of Quinn's stains are pretty epic and sometimes when Quinn has her explosive moments we'll call him um, like, like, the outfit gets kind of cut off and just tossed away, so, I don't know if it's the product or if it's my child, um, but I say, like, as a, like, a natural, um, uh, scent-free, children-safe stain remover, it's great, it's, I use it on all their stains, and, like, for food stuff and that kind of thing, um, minor explosions, it seems to do the trick, which I love, because, Otherwise, like, all of their clothes at this stage in life just become, like, ridiculously dirty and stained looking. So, um, yeah. So, I'm loving this product. And I think, is this the one that's made in Canada? Yeah, it is. It's, um, made in Canada. And it's out of Montreal. 
Um, it says, we do everything we can do to offer the greenest pro uh, products in the world. Our Eco Logo certification is proof of our environmental leadership. CO2 neutral, we manufacture our product using 100% renewable energy and we plant trees to compensate our inevitable greenhouse gas emissions. This is how we contribute to fight against climate change. It's a vegan product and it's septic tank safe. So um, you can go on their website and purchase directly from them. You can also purchase um, through walmart.ca which is where I've gotten their products. Uh, definitely they have a lot more products available on their website. So if you search for, um, I searched for Attitude and a lot came up, so I actually searched for this product and I got their website. Um, and there's a lot available there, but I can put the link to their website in the comments below because I'll definitely be looking into purchasing more of their products in the future for sure. Uh, one of the other things I'm like in love with right now is um, the Baby Brezza, I think is how you call it. It's the machine that um, mixes your formula and heats the water and mixes it all together and just pours it right in the bottle for you. I used to make fun of people who used it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was me, I was like, oh, who needs that? Just mix the formula yourself, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't use one for Knox, I don't even know if it was available when I had Knox, but um, holy insane, like, it is so easy. Like, er, it's so quick that my impatient little little not Quinn, like, who wants to, like, devour the world and wants to devour the world when she wants to devour it, um, she, like, she gets her little feet, when she hears it going, her little feet get kicking and she gets super excited and, like, tries to grab the bottle from out underneath it. Um, so you gotta keep her at a safe distance whenever you're making a bottle, because otherwise it's, like, a little swiper. Um, so I just weaned her, um, onto the bottle and she's doing amazing and I think part of that is, um that her impatience doesn't get tested because <laughs> the baby Brezza is so quick like you literally you put um I use distilled water to not gunk it up or um to worry about boiling and everything so I use distilled water I put it on the one side um it keeps it heated it tells you if it's like heated at the right temperature or not you put your formula up top and like it mixes it so there's like I haven't dealt with any clumps um, it makes this perfect. It's always at the perfect temperature. Like, you're always just to shake it and test it anyways, which I do for any food that they, my children ingest. But it's just like, it's like 30 seconds and your bottle's ready. Like, short of you having to clean the bottle and stuff yourself. Like, it's 30 seconds and you've got a bottle full of, like, skin temperature milk. It's, it's just awesome. Um, so I'm a big fan. I made fun of my husband when he bought it. And I was like, oh, you're so lazy, you're not going to want it, da 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 And now I'm like, how did I ever do it before? <laughs> this is awesome. Um, so that's definitely something that I am loving for Quinn right now. It makes things a lot easier in the transition from breastfeeding to, um, to bottle. Uh, so that's exciting. Mama gets a little bit more freedom right now. <laughs> Um, one thing that I'm loving for Knox and for Ryan, so Knox is my baby boy, uh, baby, he's gonna be three in November, and Ryan's my hubby, uh, we have the Nature Box subscription, which we love, and I'm, like, super addicted to, um, and, like, Knox will, like, when he sees the box come in the mail, he gets super excited, like, he made me open it at the post office the last time I picked it up, the, the girl at the post office was laughing at me, because Knox was like, I need my treats, <laughs> okay. But that's okay, I opened it up and he snacked on the way home in the stroller. Um, but one thing that Knox and Ryan like just can't get enough of, I can't keep it in the house, is their roasted pumpkin seeds, roasted garlic pumpkin seeds. Uh, one note though is, and you can select, um, you can select allergies and stuff when you're picking preferences or building your profile with Nature Box. Um, it is cooked, I believe cooked in peanut oil, because peanut oil is one of the listed ingredients. I don't have that problem in my home. Um, but I just feel like, um, I need to mention that. So, uh, it is awesome. They are low in sodium and all that kind of stuff, but high in iron and protein, um, for like a nut or seed. And Knox doesn't really eat a lot of meat. Um, we almost have to treat him like a vegetarian when we cook for him because there's very few meat products he'll actually take, he'll actually eat. Um, so we're working on that. But one thing that I found for him is that he really loves nuts and seeds. Uh, so that's one thing I focus on when I'm getting our Nature Box uh, products each month. And this is a fairly new item, the garlic pumpkin seeds. And I've gotten it two months in a row, and both months they were devoured. And I'm so happy. 
Um, I ordered our last box early to take on to our trip with us. And I'm so glad I did because there was one day Knox didn't want to eat anything. I think he was just overtired. And he just wanted candy. Like, and, and of course we're in old Quebec City so you're passing like all these candy shops and stuff and he's like, I want a lollipop for lunch. And he just refused to eat anything other than like sprinkles, marshmallows, and lollipops. Um, and then I brought that bag out and he was like, oh mommy, my seeds. And he ate almost an entire bag um, like over the course of the day of these pumpkin seeds. So kind of, in my eyes, saved the day, um, for nutrition value for Knox. <laughs> um, so I love Nature Box and in particular we're loving the, those garlic pumpkin seeds right now. Uh, I feel like they never need to get rid of them and if Nature Box, if you're gonna get rid of them, let me know I'm gonna stock up, okay? Alright. So I'm sure I can think of other things... Like, I'm really, I mean, I'm not wearing any nail polish right now because um, I'm just giving my nails a little break and then I have some stuff coming from Julep, so I'm, like, hoping, like, it's a fun nail polish color that I'm going to apply. But I'm really loving um, nail polish as part of my morning routine with Knox. He's like, Mommy, let's pick colors! And he'll pick what colors to put on my nails and my toes, so that's kind of fun. So not one product in particular, but just loving nail polish in general right now. Um, so I can talk about that in my next Julep unboxing, maybe. Alright, so that's just a few of my favorite things right now. Um, things that uh, are kind of part of my mantra of making things easier and family friendly and just um, be mindful of being healthy, being mindful of the environment. Um, really just trying to pay attention to um, our impact and uh, how I want our children to see things and that kind of stuff. So. Um, a few things for me, a few things for the kitties, uh, for my hobby. Um, so yeah, so those are my favorite things for the month. Um, I'm pretty addicted to some of these things, so you might see them in other videos coming up. Uh, I am totally excited about my julep box that's coming in, and I can't wait to do a surprise unveil unboxing for that. I can't wait to do my August un um, unbagging, because it's a glam bag. Um, with my sister-in-law, um, I want to do a nature box video, so I've got a lot of things planned coming up, so I'm really excited about all that kind of stuff, so, uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, if you have any comments, suggestions, things that you love, please comment below, or send me an email, the good, the bad, and the mummy at hotmail.com, uh, find me on all social media platforms, at and the mummy, alright, so talk to you guys soon, have a great day, bye!